everybody and welcome back to the channel. Here we are out on the bike and we are deep in the North Yorkshire Moors National Park today. It is an absolutely beautiful day as you can see all around us and summer most definitely has arrived. So without further ado, let's grab ourselves a beer, grab ourselves a brew, QVT and let's get this ride underway. Okay, so that is the titles out of the way as you have well seen. Let me explain what we're up to in this week's video. Well, I'm out on the bike as you can well see. I am dead plumb on the south side of the National Park today. I've already done quite a few trails just uh, flying solo as I say there. I've done a few trails just to get myself down here. Very enjoyable. It is unbelievably warm today. Nice and sunny. And as such, we've also got the drone with us. That's right, a little bit of drone Certainly not had the drone out for quite some time. And the main reason being is it's just been so jolly wet that uh, that doesn't really lend itself to uh, good drone footage when it's so wet. So I'm going to have a little uh, look at a couple of lanes, this being one of them and uh, the beautiful Calder Mill and I uh, just get the feeling that uh, on a day like today with the sunshine wrapped around us this is going to look absolutely fantastic and you pop out here just onto the shoulder of this escarpment and whilst I get the gate it is just such an unbelievably pretty pretty place we've got this astronomical view ahead of us all the way over to the west side and pointing north and then we head our way down towards Calden Mill. Are you going to stay there Gase? You are now in the deep grass. It is an absolutely fantastic day as you can see and uh, what better way to enjoy the day than get out on the old bike. So we'll get her through and we'll get this gate. So I am riding today my nemesis which is Ruts and uh, hopefully just because the ground is a little drier we might just be a little bit okay. What an amazing place. I've got this incredible drop off to my left hand side here just as I work my way along and when it's dry today the bike certainly feels like it grips a lot more obviously uh, because predominantly we're riding on peat, peat and grass a little bit of heather tucked in there as well And this really is an absolutely spectacular place to ride. I'm sure you can see from the drone alone, but even from Lidcam, just looking down to the vistas there to my left, the entire National Park just stretching out in front of us. And when it's nice and dry like it is today, oh, it's just beautiful. You can relax that little bit more, the bike's gripping. But yeah, this is a, an incredible part of the world.
and here we are coming to the gates with a little bit of livestock so uh, we'll just pull shy drop the drone down don't want to uh, be scaring this livestock and get in a bad name for uh, the bike and the biking community that is for sure what an incredible part of the world she's got fresh air under the stand there don't me that would have been embarrassing what an incredible part of the world so please do forgive the uh, Heath Robinson uh, setup with the, the drone controller. It's far better than having it on the handlebar bag because it doesn't scuff on the tank and there's less likelihood of it dropping off. That said, I do need to tighten the lashings a little bit. So let's just have a look around us. This is the beautiful woods of Calden Mill down to my left hand side. That's where we're going to pick the footage up shortly. But I just wanted to share this little bit of road section proper tiny north yorkshire road section to be fair and when you look at the road in front of me you can see the grass uh, sticking up through the middle there summer is definitely wrapped all around us i'm riding in 21 degrees of heat today and it is absolutely fantastic down to the jersey ice pack and water um, in the backpack just keeping me nice and cool and hydrated as the day goes along it is only a short one this one i'm out flying solo and as you can see by this sultry pace I am having an absolutely fantastic time just enjoying myself and moreover enjoying this absolutely fantastic, fantastic part of the world. I know the sun shining kind of transforms everywhere um, and even, you know, the darkest, dankest of places can look uh, a lot more appealing when it's sunny and dry. Uh, but certainly the North Yorkshire Moors, wow, it is such a resplendent place when we've got days like today. The only downside is uh, I do like riding with the visor up quite a lot, hence the sunglasses is not to look cool, uh, but that is to keep the bugs out of my eyes. There's an awful lot of buggage around today. So we're just gonna uh, follow this very, very single, single track road down towards uh, the header of Calden Mill, and then we'll forge our way through the woods. What I want to do is to see if the drone will follow me through the woods, uh, but I do suspect that uh, collision avoidance um, will take over and the drone will actually stop rather than uh, madness flying into trees. Who knows? Let's go have a look. One thing is for sure, Calder Mill will be absolutely beautiful. You know, even the approach down to Calder Mill is utterly beautiful. Just look at this all around us. Absolutely fantastic. What a difference a week makes. If you look at the last video that I uploaded, that was uh, the TRF monthly social ride at the end of May. We're now right at the beginning of June, literally seven calendar days apart. And the weather that we've got is just chalk and cheese. And here we are arriving at Calder Mill. What an utterly beautiful place this is. It is a working mill. And we've just got to be uh, very respectful as we work our way through. Look at that utterly gorgeous place. And then we pick the woodland up and away we go. Okay then folks, so I've tried the active tracking, that's not working in the woodland here, we're just a little bit too confined, we're actually open space here, it works here for a certain degree, uh, but there's quite a lot of branches encroaching onto the trail, um, so unfortunately active track isn't going to work coming up through Calder Mill, so you are stuck with Lidcam and yours truly, so, so let's dispatch with Miracam, thank you very much guys, and let's get ourselves underway up the beautiful Calden Mill. Look at this. This really is a spectacular place. I know I say that every single time I come, but uh, yeah, it's just magical. I love the way the trees are, the avenue, just all of the leaves. Everything about this place is just superb. I did expect the ground to be marginally damp in here. And most likely when we uh, turn right here and we start the ascent. But it has been quite um, quite loose and rocky of late. And I wonder if that gate halfway down is going to be kind of be open or not. Yeah, you can certainly see the challenges that the drone would face coming up here. I could turn the collision avoidance off. Oh, nice one. The gate is being kind and is being open. Yeah, I could turn collision avoidance off, but I don't really want to do that. Don't want to uh, risk damaging the drone at all. And that's us. Away we go. Climb, baby, climb. 
what a beautiful place absolutely spectacular and Calden Mill, yes, the climb up onto the top. Normally it is astronomically slippy when we hit the Arables and just work our way along. We've only got about a, not even a mile, I don't think. Um, but yeah, that can be uh, incredibly slippy. I don't expect that to be the case today. And yeah, looking at that, bone dry. Well, tiny little puddle. But yeah, bone dry. These are the bits that uh, arguably you are just slip sliding everywhere. So very quickly you pop out of uh, the woodland there into a uh, beautiful countryside. Wowzers just had to stop momentarily there and just uh, put the sunglasses back on uh, purely for a bug in the eye avoidance. Uh, yes, so a couple of walkers up here now, so we'll just uh, ease our pace right down. Don't change lanes guys, how can, thank you. Very sensible. Good afternoon, thank you. Thank you. Face like a smacked ass. However, the uh, influence in the outcome of that uh, little brief exchange there was uh, very critical. Had I not slowed down, had I not been polite, I'm sure I would have had uh, a barrage of negative comments. However, I just got the uh, death stare. What are you doing on this lane, boy? Well, actually, this is a legal right of way. It is part of the unsurfaced road network. Anyway, so off the high horse. Yes, I do try to keep the videos coming to you uh, once a week. Um, however, June is going to prove quite challenging for me, mostly because it is going to be, um, well, it's going to be an expensive month. That doesn't really have anything to do with uh, the video per se, uh, but what it does mean is I will be tied up um, with that expense and typically it's MOT and insurance on just about everything that I've got um, so yeah that's uh, gonna be a little bit challenging because the weekends consecutively are soaked up with the uh, MOT work for uh, for the family wagon and also for the bike as well the bike is coming up to three years old now uh, the middle part of this month um, so that is booked in for its first MOT as well so uh, yeah um, also the insurance on uh, the family wagon as well so uh, yeah I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to be fixed for getting videos out to you every week if I do drop a week I apologize for that folks uh, but that is just generally the life balance would be taking over a little bit from uh, the bike life balance but hey ho we have got a few big things in the pipeline uh, coming up um, certainly as we slip into July uh, there's a big TRF charity event that uh, I've been asked to uh, go along to and as uh, an active member of the North Yorkshire TRF group I will be absolutely delighted to go there. It's a charity event, um, a weekend camping and bike riding over the North Yorkshire Moors. We'll be over on the uh, east side so predominantly I'm sure I'm going to be concentrating on the forests. Uh, then as we come out of July and we go into August, I believe we're down in Wales again with the TRF. Massive weekend, that one really looking forward to it. And then in September, um, I'm away with uh, Triumph doing their level three, the final closing stages of the adventure training course uh, that I've done level one and level two. And I'm looking to do level three uh, to close that, round that one off at the end of the year. So yes, there's quite a few big things coming as well as the normal uh, motor vlogs that uh, will be standard drills, the bread and butter of the channel. So I'm going to work my way uh, up towards the south side of uh, Rudland Rig and with the weather that we've got, albeit we picked a little bit of fluffy cloud up now, uh, but with the weather we've got, the views across the tops should be spectacular. And as ever, here we are, the transition point. Quick shoulder glance, nothing there, nothing up to our left. And this is the transition from uh, surface road to unsurfaced road. Thank you very much folks, just setting off on their walk. Afternoon, thank you. Thank you very much. What a difference there. Eh? Big smiles, thumbs up from the lady. Absolutely fantastic. So, Rudland Rig. I'm not going to film all of this, obviously. It is a, a relatively straightforward trail. But when we're over the tops there and we start to pick those views up, looking out kind of north and northwest, we'll bang the drone in the air. We're also going to get a bit of lunch. I am Hank Marvin.
sync these up. Two, one, peg cam. What a beautiful part of the world that I'm in. Look at this. And on a beautiful Sunday afternoon, sun baked down on me. I can't believe how empty the trail has actually been. Now I will desperately try not to kick the camera this time. I have an uncanny habit. There we go. Right, okay. That's the bit that I normally catch it on. Right, so. Arguably on the rig, once we uh, get to the northern end and we pass these sands, these, uh, and we pass the standing stones and also the grouse butts there that we've got to our left, this really is where we start to uh, open the vistas and the views that we can see just starting to pull there. A couple of walkers up ahead with a, a few dogs, so we'll just back the pace right down. Don't fancy collecting any dogs today. Good afternoon. Thank you. And it also gives us a chance to uh, admire this absolutely fantastic view just while we coast past those people. Right, so let's get on with the show. It has been an absolutely amazing day. I really have enjoyed this. Really, really have. What's that? Somebody's dropped something. Let me just uh, have a quick check what that was. Litter all the same, we should pick it up and take it with us, find a bin and dispose of it. Not good to have something like that in the middle of the trail. A dog or something. A dead dog or harness by the look of it. But yeah, let's uh, shove that in the bag. That's uh, not good to see litter kicking around. Thing is, if somebody's got a dog and that's mine, it could have broken off the dog to be fair. Don't make presumptions, Paul. Do not make presumptions. Stick it in the uh, tail bag and dispose of it when we get home rather than leave it up here for some wildlife to choke on or whatever. Not good all the same. I do hope it just accidentally fell off a dog and uh, it wasn't undressed by an owner. That would be... Uh, that would be very, very unfortunate indeed. Onwards, onwards we go, enjoying this fantastic view down into the Durham Tees Valley. So yes, as I was saying there, it's been an incredible day. Really, really good fun. Thank you very much for coming along, folks. I do enjoy these solo flights. I enjoy them just as much as the group rides. And as I mentioned there in the midsection of the video, what a difference a working week makes given uh, how warm and dry it is today compared to the last time we were up here. So as we crest off here and we look to get some of those fantastic views, look at that. Superb. If you have stuck with me to the end, then thank you very much for your company as always. If you haven't done so already, then please do hit that subscribe button. It does fantastic wonders for the YouTube algorithm and the overall growth of the channel. If you want to leave a comment, then of course, please do so. I do my level best to reply to all comments, both positive and the negative ones as well. And thankfully, I don't really get too many of them, which is good. So wherever you are in the world, guys, whatever you're doing, keep it safe. Keep it shiny side up and let's enjoy peg cam as we descend off the moor tops. Here's that young chap that uh, the drone captured at our lunch stop. There he is.